causal links between the, the mercury-based preservative thimerosal and autism and autism-like uh, uh, side effects. And, and, and yet the media just blacks it out and ignores it. Right. And, and that right there is a much greater threat to our health than, than uh, any of these diseases. Yeah, absolutely. And you're not allowed to think anything other than what science tells us, even though we've got reports where they're admittedly using junk science to prop up these huge corporations uh, like Coca-Cola, for instance, was just found to be used, paid, the bought and paid for scientists who would find the results that would favor their company. What's going on there in California? I mean, they are really occupied territory um, just to, I guess in 2013, Adon, our writer, said he first uh, became aware of you after that uh, case where a child was abducted by CPS after the parents dared to seek a second opinion. The parents were there in the hospital and they were concerned with the care they were receiving um, for their child after a nurse failed to properly address why the child was being given antibiotics. So the parents wanted to maybe go get a second opinion and CPS snatched them from their home. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, and it was fascinating because the mother, the only thing she was guilty of is loving her child too much. She had a mother's instinct that she was going to be handed back a dead baby because they wanted to do open heart surgery on him today. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Another threat that President Obama mentioned was ISIS. Well, who on earth armed them? Who helped to arm the Syrians that were fighting against Assad? Who created the necessary political climate that facilitated the situation? Who pushed for the delivery of arms to the area? Do you really not understand as to who is fighting in Syria? Vladimir Putin and his Russian military have opened up a can of worms in Syria. The mouthpiece of a world propaganda war is spouting a din of disinformation, the likes of which the United States has never seen before. Where does the media's loyalty lie? The litmus test is on newsstands, TVs, and radios right now. So Current Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter, today, drew the first in line in the sand, claiming it does appear that they were uh, in areas where uh, there uh, probably was, were not ISIL forces, and that is precisely one of the problems with us, this whole approach. The governor on the propaganda engine cruising down America's freedom of the press highway was removed two years ago. The Smith-Munt Modernization Act of 2012 was quietly shoehorned into the 2013 National Defense Authorization Act. 
This act nullified the Smith Munt Act of 1948, amended in 1985, an act specifically prohibiting the influence of the U.S. government in regards to public opinion in the United States. It was Bashar Assad that gave birth to ISIL. John McCain is firing the first shots. The fact is that we are now seeing an unleashing of uh, air, Russian air power to take out the Free Syrian Army. And that is disgraceful, but I might do what we did in Afghanistan many years ago to give those guys the ability to shoot down those planes, just like the Russian, the Afghan shot down Russian planes after Russia you. invaded Afghanistan. McCain is referring to how the United States armed Islamic militants in the 1970s, a policy that led to the rise of the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, the Muslim Brotherhood, and Osama bin Laden. Senator McCain is opposed to Russia's bombing of ISIS terrorists because he believes that Moscow is using this explanation as a cover to attack U.S.-backed Syrian rebel forces who are trying to topple Bashar al-Assad. And while the American public attempts to wrap its mind around the fact that Obama and Kerry are pitching a fit, that Putin is blatantly throwing a monkey wrench into the globalist plans. And the only way the United States can have any effect in this region and turn the tide is to start killing Russians, killing Russians by uh, killing so many Russians that even Putin's media can't hide the fact that Russians are returning to the motherland in body bags. The Russians are firing back, not only in Syria, but in the information war. The BBC reports the Russian Defense Ministry said the Russian jets carried out 20 raids on Wednesday, 12 of them against IS targets. It insisted that no civilian infrastructure was targeted. Four of the air raids against IS were conducted at night. In all, Russia has deployed more than 50 planes and helicopters to Syria, the Russian Defense Ministry says. The Russians are even documenting the raids with drones. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov is firing back as well. In accordance with Article 51 of the Charter, I haven't heard of any preventive self-defense concept. No proof, no nothing. Uh, legal basis of the coalition activities in Syria is really flawed. The rest of planet Earth has had enough of Obama's shady CIA operation. There is a war on for your mind. And the great lie is the invisible weaponry of the ruling elite. Another fantastic report there from John Baum. Now, we began our show tonight talking about the shooting in Oregon, and out of respect for those victims and the families who are suffering, I wanted to change my comments or, you know, remove my comments about President Barack Obama's speech from that so I can just focus on Barack Obama's speech. Here is a brief snippet of that. It cannot be this easy for somebody who wants to inflict harm on other people to get his or her hands on a gun. And what's become routine, of course, is the response of those who oppose any kind of common sense gun legislation. We need more guns, they'll argue. Fewer gun safety laws. Does anybody really believe that? There are scores of responsible gun owners in this country. They know that's not true. Now, like I said, that's just a snippet. He has a very long speech. But I'm just going to address some of the things that our president has said about this most recent tragedy. First of all, I don't think he gets any pleasure from seeing these tragedies, so don't you know put that in the YouTube comments or whatever. But to talk specifically about some of the things he said, he said states that have some of the toughest gun laws have the fewest gun victims. Well, let's just uh, kind of compare and contrast this. I'm going off the top of my head right now. I'm freestyling this. When we talk about the city of Chicago, we have uh, Fourth of July weekends, other type of weekends going back for the past several years. We see dozens upon dozens of people shot, if not murdered, in his city of Chicago, Chicago that has some of the toughest gun laws in the United States of America. But by and large, you know, the gang bangers, the, uh, the drug dealers, the people out there on the street corners, just didn't get the memo that they were supposed to turn in their firearms. So this uh, notion that if you have stricter gun laws, you will have less gun victims is completely bunk. Now, of course, you do have many law-abiding gun citizens, whether they are in the city of Chicago, any place else in the United States. You know, they have a gun, they have a concealed carry, they have a shotgun in the closet, whatever. They don't harm anybody. They just have it there for their self-defense. They have it there for their recreation, their hunting, their fishing, whatever else they may be doing with it. Now, to talk more about some of the uh, comments President Obama made, talking about we're the only advanced nation that has this, that, X, Y, Z happen, let's talk about some of the things that he's doing. He mentioned, or he often mentions, places like Britain, other places, Australia, that have 
uh, very strict gun laws. And yes, they do have fewer gun-related deaths, but also they have other types of other violent crimes, such as in Great Britain, they have a large amount of muggings. They have a large amount of home invasions. And let's shift from talking about Britain to talking about Mexico, because we know in Mexico, they have very strict gun laws as well, but the cartels also didn't get the memo that they're supposed to hand in, they hand in their firearms. So out there killing people, they're hanging journalists from the rafters. Uh, every day you see a cartel shooting. They came in and killed a, a whole town, killing uh, police chiefs, mayors, uh, everything down there. So you go a step further and you realize that this administration who's trying to lecture you about your gun rights here in the United States of America is actually giving firearms to the Sinaloa drug cartel down in Mexico under Operation Fast and Furious that has killed Lord knows how many people, including a Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. But he doesn't want to talk about that. He'll do this. I think one person got in trouble. Who was it? The assistant AG, Lanny Brewer. Uh, I don't even think Holder was touched on that, even though it's hard for me to believe that Holder didn't at least know about it. But, you know, that's a story for another time. He's, you know, gone off to pasture, so to speak. But President Obama will get on a plane, go to Mexico, and say that the reason that Mexico has such high gun violence is because of gun demands here in the United States of America. When coming full circle, his administration was providing guns, fully operational guns at that to Mexican drug cartels. And you won't tell me about a background check. You knew who the people you were who were giving the guns to. You already did your background checks and then you found the worst people possible to give those firearms to. Let's go overseas now. Let's talk about ISIS. ISIS, you know, which we've already documented. Uh, they have uh, the Humvees, all the other uh, toys and uh, shenanigans going on over there. But we've seen the video. We've shown it a thousand times here. The airdrop grenades of, of uh, the ISIS uh, collecting these grenades that are airdropped on the ground. They said, oh, uh, oops, we accidentally sent this to the wrong people. Well, I think even if that is true, which I don't believe, even if that is true, if you're going to drop that much ordinance, you damn sure better make sure you're dropping it in the right spot. And I don't think it's incompetence on, the, on behalf of the pilots or anybody else. I think they were told to drop it there for a reason. But, you know, you can call me a conspiracy theorist, even though we see ISIS going out there uh, chopping people's heads off and all the other things that we talk about quite frequently. Also, there's an excellent report. I think in the three years I've been here at InfoWars, this is the best report we have ever done. It's called Obama Orders Children Murdered. It's produced by our nightly news producer, Rob Duke. And in this, this was back after we had the uh, tragedy at Sandy Hook. Obama comes out there, he gives a normal speech just like you heard here today. He's saying we have to do something about all this gun violence. Meanwhile, we have all these people dying from drone strikes in these foreign countries, but he doesn't want to talk about any of that. He doesn't want to talk about the wedding that became a funeral. A funeral. You can go Google that article and take a look at it for yourself. He doesn't want to talk about the kids get their jaws blown off, faces blown off, all these horrific things. Because of his drone policy, they'll knock down an entire, entire apartment building to kill two terrorists and kill 50 other people. Oops, that's the cost of doing business. So don't sit up there and lecture me about my gun rights and how I have to go through this background check and jump through all these hoops when you are doing things that are killing people, not just in this country, but all around the world with your policies and the policies of your predecessors. It's completely disgusting. I'm tired of hearing about all this crap. And to end on just a completely different note, I was in Washington, D.C. last week. I saw homeless people shoot, sleeping in front of the White House. So don't tell me that we need to bring everybody in from all of these other countries when you won't take care of people who are living in your own damn front yard. That's it for the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. We will see you again tomorrow night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced, and it just synergistically puts everything in there. Infowarslife.com. That's Infowarslife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the Infowars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at Infowarsnews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.